Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Hello World project with Visual Studio. Uh, firstly, you need to search Visual Studio. Studio will come like this. And when you open, it will take a little bit time. And there are many options, but we will choose create new project. Okay. These are the recent projects that I opened. I'm trying to be quick. You can slow down uh, if you want later on. So I'm going to create a console project and with this hello world by default. So we will don't need to create file individually. So I'll create hit next and I will just say hello world. And this will, I'm going to put this one into desktop uh, in course temp. Let me put here. So hello world. So this solution name can be same, can be different. Um, just in one solution there could be many project. So you can rename it later on if you want. But I'm going to keep this the same. So when I, I hit the create button as you've seen. As you have seen. So now this came up. Okay. This is the window I have. I'm going to delete all these comments. These are all comments. Comments are gone. And one another thing I would like to add here because I um, I don't like to use like this STDC out all the time. I do using namespace std. So I will get rid of this part. So this will work fine. Let's run this. Everybody can see this one I am sure. So when I run. So hello world is printed. So how did I run it? I just click this uh, play button, green play button, and just hit this and it run. So let's see what is what we what do we have in here? This there is a, you know this is highlighted. This is called solution explorer. If this is by mistake you closed it, or well, you can come to the view and find this one solution explorer, and you can open it up. Don't worry about it. You can hide it if your screen is small you can hide it and you can bring it back and you can keep it here so this is hello world project this is the solution as i told you there could be many projects in here but now currently we have only hello world project in hello world solution here we have source files if you look at this name hello world cpp this is the same so you can rename if you want to you can hit f2 or with mouse click it is okay or right click and then you can choose rename so you can rename this to if you want, whatever you want to do, main CPP. So if you look at this, it becomes main CPP. So we can run it again. It will print hello world and new line as you see. It is here. So I'm closing it. And I would like to show where these files are stored. For example, you create a project, but you didn't pay attention. Where did you store it? So you can find easily when you right click, uh, when you click on this hello world, you can right click on this one. And please find the second menu item from the bottom, which says open folder in file explorer or this arrow key. So uh, arrow icon. So when you open this one, it will show you where your files is. So generally when you are using input output files, all these files has to be here. This is the default location it checks. So this is all here. But when we look at go one up, this is the Visual Studio solution hello world this first one second one is our project hello world it happens to be the same name so here i if you go to the view option here view option you see i have these are checked hidden items and name find name extension that is why you see all the extension cpp all these things when i uncheck this one look at what will happen main.cpp is hidden so you don't know what is the type of it so when I click this one, main CPP came up. So hidden files and uh, if I go to the hello world solution, you see there is a little bit blue, uh, I mean not clear color, the visual studio folder here. When I uncheck this one, you will see that's disappearing. It is there, but you don't see it. So if you want to uh, submit your project, you should check this one again because you don't wanna uh, zip this up because when I zip all these things, it will be huge size so let me close visual studio because it doesn't let me delete visual studio and debug folder when i am uh, when i am zipping them up so i'm going to close this one 
and let me show you one difference if i right i mean select all i did control a in here control a will select all of them and i right click on this and then i use seven zip and hello world zip let's see the size and it takes a lot of time to zip them up even though i have a very strong machine here so the size of it 14 megabytes you see this is i will just say before so what i'm going to do is next time uh, I will select all of course except uh, I, I shouldn't be zipping the same zip file so um, let me uh, let me do this before de zipping them up I would like to delete all debug visual studio folders so I'll start from the root debug and visual studio here I will delete so this is gone yes and I will visit the hello world because there are still more stuff here in the project that was in the in the solution I will delete this debug folder too don't worry about deleting the debug folder because Visual Studio when you hit that you know uh, play button or compile and run button it will automatically generate all those things so now I'm gonna zip again which is all the required files except this one because this is just I created so this is zipping again and look at the size of it it is 4 kilobyte you see the difference this is 14 megabyte uh, this is 4 kilobyte so uh, there are huge difference so you will be uploading this file not this one this is uh, too much I don't need these things because it will be automatically generated so I'm going to delete this because I don't want this so you may say how am I going to upload this zip file uh, to the canvas you just go and find which assignment it is related and just uh, you know submit button and choose this file and upload that is all for uh, hope for creating and uploading files from now on this, there is a little bit extra thing I would like to mention I'm going to open again Visual Studio but now I'm going to open from here because I just created it remembers the last project I opened and look at this one right now you see Visual Studio folder I created it just came up when I uh, you know this is let me open this and show you everything source file and all of them when I compile this you will see the debug folder will be created here let me hit enter this is here is a debug folder it is created it did a little bit different than previously uh, let me clean this all clean is cleaning all the stuff so it is gone so let me run this again hello world so x64 debug folder is now here and executable and all of them are here so this is we don't need if you are submitting in this situation in this picture you will delete visual studio and x64 folder as well as you will come here and debug folder as well all of them you should be deleting them all that is all uh, hope this will help you uh, when you are submitting so I'm going to do one more thing just clean this uh, hello world project clean so clean will delete the debug folders content all of them but uh, you can delete all all these Visual Studio x64 whatever the debug folder all of them you can delete so to be on the safe side I'm going to close this for example you are going to upload this project if I were you I will just co copy this one and put somewhere wherever you want so let me take this one and I'm going to create a test folder just the name is a test folder and paste the zip file that I have which is 4 kilobyte I'm going to unzip this one oops I clicked the zip file again so hello world this is unzipped version so when I double click this one it will open the file that you are going to upload and just check whether this is working still here we go and it is still working so to be make sure to make sure this is what you want to submit thanks for watching hope this helps have a, have a good one